I, I was just w completely washed out. You know, I, I remember I um, I felt I had nothing left in me. I, I, it was winter in Tasmania, and um, you know, I I had a fire going each day, and I'd just sit in front of the fire, for, and I, I'd, I'd never felt so utterly empty. I, it was like I'd, this cathartic release, really, writing the book. Did I, did I think it was something special? I think I just thought I'd put everything I could into it and there was nothing left of me. And um, You never know with a book what, whether people will like it. It's an arrogance to think that you've done something good. That's for the reader to decide. I mean, all you can know is that you've um, uh, given your soul to it, I suppose, and um, done your best. And you know, hope, hope people like it, but you, you, you can never predict a book. I mean, it's, it's very strange. Often the ones I find that are closest to you are the ones that mean most to other people because I think you, the writer's job is to discover in their own soul all the things that aren't them, that they share with all other people, the living, the dead. Or you, you discover all, all good but also all evil. You discover love but you also discover hate. And it is in that that other people find something that resonates with them. I, I think if there's an argument for books, it is that in a world that isolates us and divides us and try to make us fearful of others, books are so beautiful because they always remind us that we're not alone. And that's what I go to books for and that's what I love so much in books.